one of the cooler parts of the video is going to be that I had a special surprise in my last video that I completely missed. And when I was cleaning off my, my presentation desk after making the last video, I found a game that's worth $100 plus in a case that I didn't even know had anything in it. Hey there! Welcome to Gravy Flips. This is a channel where we buy and resell furniture, collectibles, and video games in order to try to make some extra profit, or gravy, as we call it, in our side hustle. If you're someone who's trying to figure out a way to build some extra income, trying to collect some video games, or just trying to build a budget to where you can go out and buy something that you want, or find a fun way to spend time with your kids, this channel is all about garage sailing, using Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist, and trying to better ourselves every day by getting out there and doing our hustle. Hey there, and welcome to Gravy Flips, where we specialize in flipping furniture, collectibles, and video games in order to make some extra profit, or as we call it, gravy, in our side hustle. Um, I'm Brian, I'm a full-time teacher, and I've been a uh, eBay seller and a local flipper for 13 years. I absolutely love going to garage sales, uh, looking at marketplace for those really good deals that I can then uh, flip for profit. I'm a video game collector, I'm, uh, uh, I love to travel, and on this channel, the purpose is to teach you how to go out to garage sales and to use Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace to find furniture, video games, and collectibles that you can put back on Marketplace or Craigslist or sell on eBay or Mercari to earn some extra money for your side hustle. We all have something going on as our, as our main hustle, but this channel is dedicated for you to learn how to make that extra money in a fun and engaging way. Thanks for joining me. And let me tell you about today. Hey everyone. So this video is a recap of all the purchases that I did since Friday. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some sectional couches that I picked up and sold. I'm going to talk about some dressers I sold um, and around four or five little video game purchases that I made um, and really go through the numbers so that you can see the different types of uh, income producing flips that you can do with Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and eBay, and Mercari, etc. So, all the stuff on the table behind me is what I bought on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And one of the cooler parts of the video is going to be that I had a special surprise in my last video that I completely missed. And when I was cleaning off my, my presentation desk after making the last video, I found a game that's worth $100 plus in a case that I didn't even know had anything in it. So <laughs> stay tuned and I'll tell you about how big of an idiot I am on that one. So thanks for joining me and let's go through this weekend's purchases and sales. Thanks. Okay, just to keep you guys engaged, inside of this green case is the... Uh, is the special game that I completely missed. I didn't even open this case because I was so excited about those Pokemon games that I got in that $250 lot from, that I talked about last video. Um, since then, I paid $140 for an Atari uh, 5200. All these Atari games over here, uh, the little mini ColecoVision I have on the far end of the table, and um, as I mentioned, all these games in an Atari 2600 that I didn't put on the table for space. Um, I'm assuming that this is going to sell for 200. I really, I, I, I say this every single video. I truly hate Atari. It doesn't sell for much. I'm talking about the 2600, but um, the 5200s, the 70, what is it, 76 or 7800s do well. Uh, the Amiga system does really well, but. I really try to avoid ColecoVision and um, Atari stuff, but since he he had it in the box, I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty complete as you can see here. Um, definitely have to clean it off and, and so forth. But 
it's a pretty nice looking piece. These GameCube games over here, I haven't looked in this final case here, but I added all these up. I paid $50 for the whole bundle. And there's some really cool titles in here. We got Spyro, A Hero's Tale. I got Star Fox Adventures, uh, which sells for about $30, $40. I got Custom Robo. And remember, I paid only $50 for this whole stack of 15 games, right? Custom Robo is definitely one to be on the lookout. And this sells for about uh, $50, $60 if you have the manual. I got a game that I used to play all the time as a kid. Need for Speed Hot for Suit 2. We got Teen Titans with the manual. This game sells for about $31 complete. I got the amazing Super Smash Bros. Melee. And the disc is pretty clean, but it needs the manual. I might have an extra one kicking around somewhere. I got Tack, the power of Juju. We got Ty 1 and 2. These together I can sell for about $25 online. I got Star Wars Rebel Strike, no manual. I got Lego Star Wars The Game. Uh, one of my favorite games growing up was uh, Mario Sunshine. The disc is pretty... Eh, I mean, it's okay. It's hard to clean GameCube games because uh, there's a lot of disc rot and a lot of the professional cleaners need accessories. But here's the Wrath of Cortex. <clears throat> here's Worms Blast. And then the Sonic Mega Collection, which needs to be cleaned. And it sells for about $30. But... Let me show you, and we're gonna open this for the first time together. This is a mystery one, and I'm gonna start doing this on the channel because I don't like to, I don't want you guys to see my reactions um, to these kind of openings when I'm off screen and picking up because the, the game I found in here is a mind blower. So let's open this together. Let's hope for something good like uh, Pokemon Box, which is worth $1,000, it's just the disc. I know it's not gonna be in here, but Let's see what's in here. You ready? One, two. Oh, cool. All right. Turtles 3. That's awesome. That's another $30, $40 game. That's fantastic. Okay. I'll take that. So that ups my estimated profit by about $30, $40. Heck yeah. And it's also a fun game to play. But um, the surprise that I really wanted to talk to you guys about is this guy right here. Um, I just saw the Dragon Ball Z thing on it and I was like, oh, this ain't gonna be anything. But when I was picking up, I was like, oh, what's in here? Uh, it was like 10 o'clock at night and uh, I talked about this game in like in my first or second video that I did for the channel. I said that I'd never gotten it before and that I was super happy to do it. Um, but this really blew my mind. My wife and I, we dropped everything and we went upstairs, hooked up a PS2 and tested it. And uh, we spent probably a good hour, hour and a half playing. Um, but yeah, check this out, guys. This was uh, definitely a, an amazing find to just be hidden away. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Budokai uh, Tenkaichi 3 is uh, one of the grails on the uh, PlayStation 2. This game sells for roughly uh, $200. I've seen postings up to 350, 325 on Amazon, but I don't really sell on Amazon. So uh, to find this and to be able to go upstairs and play it just blows my mind. And the fact that this is the second time I've gotten it in the past two weeks. And I've been selling online for 13 years. And uh, in the past two weeks, I've gotten this game for the first and second time. So I guess you YouTube viewers, you guys are good luck. Uh, I ran upstairs and I told my wife, I was like, you're not gonna believe this. Uh, I told her in Spanish because we speak Spanish only at home and uh, I was like this is unreal and uh, we had a lot of fun paying it but I still haven't done the campaign on it but yeah uh, this is for sale so if any of you guys want this uh, feel free to shoot me a message um, you can find my email on the on the page or go to garveyshobbysales.com and uh, I haven't listed this yet but it does need to find a new home so thanks Okay, and this is the part of the video where we talk about uh, my furniture sales and the actual numbers. So before I get into the numbers, I want to tell you guys about what I was doing in terms of furniture, okay? Um, at the beginning of the spring, I bought a Toyota Tacoma 
and a 10 by six trailer that I use to pick up and deliver furniture uh, from Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. I oftentimes peruse the listings and, and snipe uh, sectional couches uh, that are free. I clean them up and I resell them for like $300. Um, I buy washer and dryers that are cheap, like a matching set for like $100, and I can normally get around $300 if I use my dolly and I deliver it. I pick up a lot of free dressers that I can sell for anywhere between $50 and $100, but what it really comes down to is a numbers game, you know? At the beginning of the year, I had maybe two storage units. I now have five storage units that I have a constant uh, inventory influx, and I have the storage units pretty close to my house and I go there you know I take pictures of stuff I put them on Facebook marketplace on my my Facebook page that I use people write me uh, this time of the year a lot of college students are coming to my local city and I'm getting a lot of people messaging me about couches that I have sectionals are my bread and butter um, this weekend alone I sold three sectionals two of them I sold for $300 uh, and one I sold for 180 uh, yesterday, to Saturday, I picked up a sectional. I kid you not, I dropped one off about an hour from my house. I was driving home, I picked up a sectional. I drove home, I had it in my trailer still, didn't even clean it. I reused the pictures that the person had, I had permission, uh, from the house that I got it from. By three o'clock, literally three hours later, I had somebody who was ready to purchase it for $300. All I did was I stopped on my way home at a house, I loaded it into my trailer, and then I went home, and then I had a buyer for that sectional with a $300 margin, right? I spent nothing on it, and I delivered it to them uh, about 4.45. So I only had that sectional for about four hours, which is absolutely unbelievable. Where else can you pick some, where, where else can you make $300 profit in four hours by just picking up something and dropping it off, you know? Just happened to be I had a family event where I had to drop it off, so yeah, it was, it was perfect. But, so, this weekend, I sold this sectional. I picked it up an hour from my, my house. I sold it for $300. I drove back toward my house and I picked up this sectional. This is the one that I sold four hours later for $300, could you not? I picked up this washer and dryer for $100 from a teacher friend that I have who I just happened to see her listing on Marketplace. I sold that um, Sunday morning for $300 locally. So I maybe have 45 minutes into the deal just loading it with my dolly and putting it in my trailer and driving it five miles down the road. is $200. I sold this sectional that had a lot of cosmetic wear. And then uh, I was able to pick up this sectional today that I still haven't listed or sold yet, but I, I expect it to sell for about $250 in the next coming weeks. So that's just an idea. Oh, and I sold this dresser and this dresser for $75 and $40. And when I add up all the sales that I did locally, that came to uh, $1,065 in sales locally. And that's after subtracting the hundred dollars I spent on the washer dryer, um, which I mean, come on, it's it's easy, it's easy, easy, easy. And then you use that money to uh, put it into the video game purchases, and you're and you're doing well, right? So here's the numbers. Okay, I price charted all the video game stuff we have here, uh, the GameCube and all that, and the uh, estimated value for the video games are. Uh, $330. Oh wait, no, that's how much I spent. I spent $330 on all these purchases. Okay, sorry. When I add everything up, it's $875 in expected profit. Price charting had just under $400 for the GameCube games, um, and some uh, PlayStation 4 games that I bought that I don't have up on the stand. I, I estimated about $100. The Atari 5200 was uh, $200. And then, so when I add that $1,065 that I made selling furniture, and I add that to the expected profit of $875 for all the video games that I purchased, 
um, that gives us a, an expected profit of, or, uh, of revenue of $1,940. And then when I subtract the $330 I spent on all the video game stuff, that gives me an actual expected profit, like net, of $1,610. So that is a lot of income to make just in one weekend of flipping furniture, collectibles, and video games. Um, I wake up every day super thankful to the fact that I have the uh, truck and the storage units and the ability to do this. Um, school's going to be starting up in a, in a few weeks. Um, so my ability to do all this stuff during the day is going to go away, but um, I'm going to be taking a paternity leave mid-September and I'll definitely be doing that. I'll, I'll have the kid in the back seat with me, but you know, um, that's just the name of the game. You know, I got to teach the little one how to, how to get some gravy. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a side hustle that, you know, you can do with your kids. You know, you can really inculcate that, that love of working for yourself and um, teach your kids or yourself or your family members even, you know, how to use money as a tool and to not be scared to invest in something that can, you know, grow your money. Uh, it's so normal in our culture for people to consume, 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 you know. They go to Walmart, they buy the PlayStation 5, they buy all the games for it, and they sell it at a loss for $300. But I want you, my lovely viewers, to uh, be the people that see money as a tool. Something that if you invest it correctly, it can return more dollars for you, you know? So instead of eating that dollar, or, that, or consuming that dollar, ask yourself, how can I invest this dollar in the product or, or uh, stocks or whatever so that it can grow more dollars for me in the future you know um, I've been a landlord for, for three years now and uh, my tenants are going to be leaving fairly soon and I honestly I, I'm figuring out that real estate you know landlording isn't for me uh, I'm constantly stressed that, that something's going to go wrong and the house is going to burn down or whatever but maybe that's something you like I find my zen by, you know, helping people get furniture they like, by finding uh, great homes for these video games and, and, and beating people and other collectors out there. So, um, hopefully this can be a great channel for you uh, to learn how to get out there, you know? You really don't need a truck and a trailer to flip furniture. Uh, you could do it with like a small van, you know? Uh, you could run a U-Haul for a weekend and drive all around, you know? <laughs> Um, the sky's the limit, you know, and that's what this channel is about. So please subscribe, like, and share, and let me know your thoughts down below. What are you flipping? What, what kind of good purchases have you made? You know, what's your, what's your favorite items to, to buy at a garage sale and sell online? You know, how do you, uh, build your income and your side hustle? You know, thanks for joining me everyone today. And I hope to see you back in a couple days when I make another video for free flips. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.